Walter, and I'm a registered dietitian. I work for the YMCA of Greater Cleveland, and also um, I work with Thrive Southern Lorain County, which I'll be talking a little bit more about. Um, but the uh, talk focus of this presentation is eating healthy on a budget. I know that grocery prices have gone up so high, and um, they average about 12% in the past year they've gone up. And just because you're on a budget, which most of us are, it's, it's still possible to eat healthy and not sacrifice nutrition. But with a little know-how and planning, you can enjoy nutritious foods without breaking the bank. And I'll talk about some of those. One of the best things you could do is to eat meals at home. Um, meals at home are usually healthier because you have control over the ingredients. It also relieves the stress of what to cook for dinner, um, allows more family time. It's great if the kids can get involved in meal preparation. Uh, they found that kids are more likely to eat a healthier diet if they're helping to prepare the meals. So, um, you know, people are all busy, so if the whole family can get involved, it's a great way to help make great meals and keep stress levels low. Um, another great thing that I'll talk about is that when you cook from home, you can make extra and freeze leftovers for another time or eat the next day for another meal. So one of the most important things is to plan ahead um, that saves money. Take time to plan your meals and make a grocery list. Um, what we do at home is I keep a grocery list in the kitchen so that we can update it when we run, when we run out of something. Otherwise, we have to run up to whatever store is near us. We might not get the best price on the food items that we need. Um, <clears throat> the other big deal in our house is to use what we have before buying more. We try to really pay attention to first in, first out, uh, use check expiration dates, and choose the items that are closer to expiration. Uh, sometimes I go to the grocery store and I'm buying things and then I get home and I find out that I already have them at home. And when you have food waste, you're wasting money. So it's really important to try to pay attention what's in your pantry and freezer and use those foods as well. Um, so like I said, one of the best things is to make a shopping list. Uh, use the, you could go online and look at store circulars, um, look at coupons, uh, sales, store specials, and then plan ahead, especially with the grocery prices being so high, it's more important than ever to try to plan ahead um, to do your meals. It's a little bit of work, but once you get used to it, it actually becomes pretty easy. Um, you wanna have a shopping list, don't go hungry. If you go shopping hungry, you're more likely to have impulse buys. Um, it also, like I said before, it helps to avoid extra trip to the grocery store if you're organized and you know what, what you want and what you need. Um, so, what I did was I looked at some of the local circulars. Um, these are from the past few weeks um, that are online. And so, for example, up here, that's hard to see, but this was at Aldi's. It's the Nature's um, free, uh, Chicken Drumsticks and, and, um, and Thighs, and I think it was 99 cents a pound. I'm sorry, that's a little blurry up there. Yeah, 99 cents per pound, so that's a great deal. Um, this ground beef here is on sale for $1.99 a pound. And what I usually do when I see that is I buy extra. So I freeze some of it. And um, so the ground beef was $1.99. And the hamburger buns, these are both at Giant Eagle, um, were $1.39 for an eight pack. So um, what you could do is make the burgers one night and then maybe freeze it and you could use it in meat sauce or chili another time. Um, sometimes what I do too, as long as I'm making one thing, like I'll make meatballs while I have the ground beef out, especially if I have a, a large package, um, and then I'll just freeze those, and then we can heat those up another night on a busier night. Um, this chicken breast was on sale for $3.99 a pound, which is a pretty good price if you're looking for chicken breasts. And, uh, Tuna was on, si on sale for 99 cents. And tuna and salmon are great. You could um, expand it by making like a tuna casserole or if you have salmon, make salmon patties with some breadcrumbs. 
And there's a lot of great recipes out there, and it's just kind of taking the time to make the effort. Um, so these are some other circular ideas. So these, these peppers were on sale at Aldi's, and a three pack on sale is $2.49. And another way to save money is to prepare the food yourself. So for example, if you went to Giant Eagle here and you um, bought the chopped peppers for only just a little cup, the eight ounce cup, it's $3.79. Versus you could get a whole three pack of the peppers, bell peppers for $2.49. And what I like to do is chop them up myself and I use them in a few different items, maybe then, and then I, or I freeze them, any extra, so there's no food waste, and then I throw them in ingredients at another meal. Um, another thing is up here, I have at the top the, um, a three pound bag of onions, which are $2.99, and onions can stay in your pantry for quite a while, and you can use them for a lot of things, versus right below, if you buy them already chopped, it's $2.99 for just one cup. So you save a lot of money by preparing and chopping food and that type of thing yourself. Frozen foods are great too. Um, they're always available. This pepper and onion blend was on sale for $2.58. And it's a great, way, great thing to have in the freezer. You can roast them up, add them to fajitas or or sometimes I just use these before I even make like pastas or chilies just to add some extra nutrition. Um, here's another circular. Um, this was from Walmart and the eggs, I know the price of eggs has gone up, but 18 count eggs at uh, Walmart when I looked were on sale for $2.52. Um, milk, $2.76 for a gallon and then a loaf of bread for $1.39. So with the eggs and milk, you could um, make an omelet with those leftover peppers and onions and saute them to make a really healthy breakfast. And um, with the milk and bread and the eggs, you could make French toast. And I even make, when I make French toast, I usually make extra and then I freeze it. And then the kids can just heat it up. Put a little, you, you could either put it in the microwave and eat it. They like it crispy, so they put it in the microwave and then they toss it in a pan for about five minutes. Um, so those are some ways to extend what food you're eating and to prevent the food waste. Okay, here's another one. Um, so these were from Walmart. Um, pork and beans at the top left here, 82 cents for a can. Um, that's a, beans are really nutritious. They're a great source of protein. A lot of our high protein meats and that type of thing, the prices have really gone up. So beans are a great option. Um, down here, a box of pop, oops, I'm sorry, a box of pasta is, is on sale for 98 cents along with a bottle of the ragu at the bottom for $1.96. So you could make that for dinner with the extra ground beef that you bought um, and then just add it to the sauce, even saute the peppers and onions or whatever you have and stick it in there. Uh, sometimes I even, because I'm cooking at one time, not only will I make meatballs just because I'm there cooking anyways and I have a big thing of ground beef, I might even brown individual, like just brown the beef and freeze it right away and then I can use it in tacos or pasta sauce and it makes it easier. And I'll also make larger portions and then just freeze it. Things freeze really well, which I'll talk a little bit more about. Um, there's, here's a thing of black beans and lentils on sale. Beans and rice make a really great meal. They're a great source of fiber and protein. Um, so anytime you can add beans to your meal, it's a great, great option. And just one more, um, people think it's hard to get Produce, produce um, prices have gone up quite a bit, understandably, and so the, some of these were at all these. Um, the clementines on the top left up there, a three pound bag for $3.98. Um, they're great to add to lunches. The other thing with clementines and other citrus fruits, they last for a while in the refrigerator, so it's not like you have to eat them right away or they're going bad. Um, this Pineapple here is a dollar sixty nine, and so once again, if you went and bought a pineapple that was pre cut, it might be four or five dollars. 
Whereas if you chop it up yourself, you're saving a lot of money. Uh, the bananas were on sale for 24 cents each. Um, and then what I do is if I have extra fruit that I know I can't use, I freeze it and then we use it in smoothies. So like chop up the bananas and the pineapples and just put it in the freezer and then when somebody wants a smoothie or we run out of fruit or in the house, we always know we have some frozen in there that we can use and that way we're not, when you have food waste, you're basically throwing money down the drain. So we've tried really hard to do better with that at our house. Um, there's also apps that you can use to help you shop. And there's a, something recent it's called the Flash Food app. And um, what you do is you select the location where you live, and then you can choose discounted items and actually pay right on the website um, using a credit card or a SNAP EBT card. And what it is is grocery stores deal with a lot of food waste themselves, which costs a lot of money, not just throwing food away, but also hauling it away. So when they have food that are getting close to expiring, what they'll do is this, for example, I went on Giant Eagles, they'll, they'll post items and they'll say what, what it's best by. So like I said, this was, I took these pictures maybe about a week ago, but when they know it's going to expire in a few days, they won't sell you anything that's expired, but you could say, hey, I know we're going to use this for dinner, so let's, let's, buy, let's choose that and save some money. It's usually around 50% off. The other thing, if you look at the bottom here, they often will make a veggie box up for $5 with a sort of vegetables that might be going bad within a few days. But if you know you can use them, it's a great way to save money. And um, so I feel like with the Flash Food app, it's kind of expanding, it'll get starting in bigger um, metropolitan areas like Cleveland, and it's totally, it's starting to expand out to more of the suburbs. So um, you'll see it more of, at your local stores. There's another website, it's called Shop Simple with My Plate, and it's another way to find savings in your area and also gives suggestions how to prepare some healthy budget-friendly meals. And um, online site that you can go on to. It's called Shop Simple with My Plate, and what it does is it helps you find savings in your area. And it also gives suggestions of new ways to prepare budget-friendly foods. So the way it works is you open the tool, either on your phone or computer, and you put in your zip code, and you can find stores that accept SNAP, EBT, um, or other things that are help keep the cost down. And then it shows you budget-friendly foods and meal suggestions. And what's really cool is, so I went on the site. I'm not from, I live about 45 minutes away, so I'm not familiar with all these stores. And I know some of them, they probably need to update sites here and there. But one thing I think is cool is that they also include farmer's markets. So down on the bottom right corner, you can see um, the Elyria Farmer's Market. But it will be adding more farmer's markets and produce stands as things are coming into season and it's that time of year. So <clears throat> it's another great option as well. Um, so a few more grocery tips, only purchase what you're going to use. Uh, consider the generic or store brands. Uh, they're often the same quality, taste just as good, but better pricing. Um, the other thing is to find and compare unit prices, which can be a little confusing, but Basically, it's that little tag that you see when you're shopping, and they're basically showing, so if you look at the top, the low-fat yogurt at the top, it's a 32 ounce. This is the same yogurt, but it's just a little small six ounce serving. And so the big one, it's $1.62 for the whole thing. The six ounce one is 72 cents. But what they do, they divide it by the number of ounces, OZ, and so the unit price is only five cents per ounce, whereas the smaller cup is 12 cents per ounce. So instead of buying multiple small of the little cups, it'd be better for your family to get the bigger um, container and just scoop it out from there. So unit price can give you an idea, especially they call it shrinkflation these days where some of our pa the packaging's getting smaller. So I go to the store and I'll be like, I think this package is small, smaller. It's the same price, but they're not putting as much food in, in the packaging. 
Uh, the other thing I mentioned before, use less meat in dishes. Um, so like if I make chili, what I do is I'll still use some ground beef, but not as much, but I fill it up with more beans, which are lower cost and really nutritious. Um, like I said before, purchase meal when it's on sale. Some other really good protein sources are nuts, peanut butter, dairy products, eggs, uh, canned salmon and tuna, like I mentioned before. Uh, the other thing is to consider adding some meatless meals, um, which is usually healthier. Um, and so you don't have to always have meat at every meal um, because there's a lot of other great sources of protein, as we've talked about. Uh, lentils are great because they don't need to be soaked. Um, when you buy canned beans, they're, they're fine. They're great because you don't have to soak them, but even the dried beans are usually even cheaper. And usually have to soak the dried beans, but lentils you don't, so they're, they're very convenient to use. One thing I'd suggest too is try to collect some low cost, nutritious recipes that the family likes and that you can rotate through. Um, the recipe should be tasty and nutritious and easy to cook and um, easy to prepare. Uh, meals don't have to be fancy or you know complicated, have a lot of ingredients to be healthy and taste good. Sometimes some of the best meals are ones that are very simple with just a few ingredients. So it doesn't need to be complicated. And when you find something your family likes, just add it to the rotation. Um, the other thing we do a lot is to make extras for tomorrow's lunch. Um, and I, like I was talking before is to use um, ingredients for more than one recipe. So if we made like a whole chicken for dinner, um, we might use the leftover the next day in a stir fry or chicken fajitas. Um, so that you're making sure to use the whole, the whole thing and not have to prevent the food waste. Um, and then stretch the recipes. Um, like if you're going to make, when I make soup, I usually double the recipe and then I'll freeze it in individual portions. My kids love to have, they're always eating. I have, I have sons and they're always hungry. So that way they could just grab something and take it to school. If I have, like I always make extra double chicken noodle soup or we could have it for a meal. Another night when we're not, when we're, we have a busier night and we don't have time to cook, we have extra food in the freezer. Um, so I use containers like this. You don't have to buy fancy containers, usually stackable ones. Uh, the other thing I do a lot is I make lasagna and I'll freeze it in individual pieces uh, for the same reason. It freezes well and then you have food for another meal. Some nights are really busy, nobody wants to cook. Um, or if I make chili, I'll make an extra portions and then even you could eat it the next day, put it over pasta for a chili mac. Um, so it's just kind of being creative. Freezer bags, if you don't have a lot of freezer space, um, I use freezer bags sometimes too because you can stack them and they take up less space. Um, so just different ways to be creative and use your leftovers. Um, the other thing is to buy foods at different degrees of ripeness. So you don't want to buy foods that are going to go bad within a few days and you don't have time to eat all of them. So for example, when I, what I have up here is bananas expire fair, fairly quickly, maybe get the green ones, but if they're going bad, eat those first or you, they're the extra ripe or chop them up and freeze them. You can use them in banana bread or smoothies. Uh, grapes last a little longer, so we might eat those next. And then apples can last for weeks in the refrigerator, so even a couple, month or two. Um, so I always try to get apples when they're on sale, and that way we always know if we're not going to make it to the grocery store that there's at least apples in there. Um, the other thing are potatoes, carrots, and onions. They last quite a while, and they can be used in a lot of dishes, and they're also usually not too expensive, you could go to the grocery store and find a good price usually on one type of potato. Um, and like I said, just pay attention to the expiration dates. You hate to throw things away. The other thing is it's, you know, it's almost summer. Planting your own garden, if you're able to, is a great way to have your own fruits and vegetables. 
Uh, farmers markets are great because they are a fruit stand because they have local food. It tastes really fresh and it tends to be cheaper. Usually if you buy produce in season, it's lower price and tastes better. Um, but like I said, you can always freeze to freeze your fruits or vegetables, so you always have some available as well. Um, so I, one of the organizations I work with is Thrive Southern Lorain County. And at the top here, I have um, the link to their website. And there's a lot of great nutrition information on there. But one thing they do have, and this is just a few of them, is a link to um, different food pantries and um, places to food, if, for, to have meals. And there's several others on there. I just took a little screenshot of this one just to give you an idea. And just, I can't believe when I go to the grocery store. I just cannot believe the cost. So um, there's options out there. There's also, uh, if you call two, air, dial 211 or you go online to www.211.org, it's kind of like 911, um, but it's, it's, a, it's where you could go and there's community specialists there to help find information um, for needs like housing, food, financial assistance, and more. Um, and once again, you can, if you do the online, you can just go and search your zip code or city and state uh, to find out more information about your area and sites that would be helpful um, for whatever needs your, your family has. Um, so just remember, um, a little progress each day adds up to big results, and don't be too hard on yourself. We eat a lot of junk too in our family, and I'm a dietitian. And we don't always stay on, you know, the best budget. But with food prices going up, up so much, we're really trying to make more changes and um, work together. And um, so it's a it's a great way to work together as a family, and we'll all get through this together. So thank you. Mm -hmm.